You are about to see this film made to help us size up our enemy, Japan. The Japanese aren't easy to know. They are as different from ourselves as any people on this planet. The real difference is in their minds. You cannot measure Japanese sense of logic by any Western yardstick. Their weapons are modern. They are thinking 2,000 years out of date. You cannot destroy Japan because you cannot destroy its heart. The Japanese people. You say you can, as a message to pose and use us. You say you can destroy us by starving us out. <laughs> you forget that we're not like you. In World War II, this dangerous propaganda was spread everywhere, from the flyers against the Imperial Army in Indonesia, China, Australia and America, to the posters spread against the Nazi Party in the UK and throughout Europe. The NHK, a Japanese broadcasting corporation, used propaganda to try to undermine the Americans' will to fight. Broadcasts used accurate first-hand knowledge on the American way of life, playing conscripted soldiers' favourite music and talking sentimentally about life in America, in which they may never return. Ms. Iva Akuko Tagore Diakino, a US citizen with Japanese parents, was one of 13 women known as Tokyo Rose. Tokyo Rose was a name given by Allied troops to a female English-speaking broadcaster of Japanese propaganda. Greetings, everybody. This is your number one enemy, your favorite playmate, Orphan Ann of Radio Tokyo. Well, do you suppose I could have heard you someplace before? You may have picked it up aboard ship someplace. Aboard ship? Well, uh, who are you on the radio? And Tokyo Rose. This technique was used to make troops feel homesick. I don't want to go to work. Will you stay with me? After the war, she was convicted for treason, fined, and imprisoned. She claimed the Japanese forced her to work for them, and then the US President Gerald Ford pardoned her in 1971. Propaganda was used to dehumanize the enemy by knowing them as a hateful stereotype. This would make it easier for the soldiers to kill without remorse or any emotions. Many posters and leaflets were made in order to force the beliefs of the government onto its citizens. Propaganda was used on the domestic audience as well as the enemy. Newsreels shown at the cinema downplay the successes of the enemy's attacks. Witness the contemporary newsreels of reporting the sinking of the torpedoed hospital ship, the Cuttable, which actually resulted in 21 Allied deaths. Here they claim incorrectly that the attacks had no effect, hoping to calm the panicked population. The attack on Sydney Harbour by Japanese submarines last May was a complete flop. Jap submarines invade Sydney Harbour. Their only victim, an old ferry boat. The Australians would send out flyers to the Japanese occupied areas. These flyers would tempt the Japanese to surrender by offering food, water, but also by humiliating the starving soldiers. One of these flyers reads, Formosans, we offer you a chance of life and return to your countries after the war. Only a useless death awaits you as you are. Be wise and surrender to our forces. You have nothing to fear. You will be kindly treated. We will give you food. If you are sick or wounded, our doctors will care for you until you are better. Then after the war, you will be able to return to your homes. By all means, come to my Japan, if you dare. And welcome. It is beautiful here. As beautiful as the sight of your blood on our bayonets.